Hey guys, let's get into this trading view walkthrough. So from the home page, just tradingview.com, we're going to go ahead and hit products and then super charts. And this is going to bring up your chart, right? So let's jump up to the daily. So just to delete an indicator, just hover over it and just hit the X. Or if you want to hide it, you can hit the eyeball. But we're going to actually delete this. All right, so let's get into this. So we're looking at a daily chart on SPY, right? These are the regular candlesticks. If you look up top here where these candles are, there's a little arrow drop down. You can actually change your, your candlestick type up here or your chart type. So there's your line chart, for example. Um, there's your Rinko's. But we're just going to focus on the regular candles for now. And this is that's how you change your chart type. If you like the, the setup, just go ahead and hit a star beside it, and it'll actually show up at the top of your screen too. So that's pretty cool. All right. So the next thing I want you guys to see is up here in the top corner. If you want to change the ticker that you're looking at, you can just hit, let's just do the cues, for example, and click it, right? That's your next setup. You can also add these to your watch list, right? If you want to add it to a watch list, or you can uh, put a little flag on it. If you want to make, there's actually watch lists based on the little flags. So it's a little quicker. If you ever want to compare symbols, like let's say we want to look at SPY and the Qs together, or let's say SPY and the VIX, we'll say, um, let's just do same scale, right? So now we have the VIX on top of the SPY, right? If you just want to see how they move together or actually apart most of the time, <laughs> disclaimer, most of the time, um, up here, this is where you're going to change your candlestick intervals. So if you go down, you'll have one candle every four hours. Um, here's your one hour chart. So one candle every hour and you work your way down. Also along the bottom here, um, and I think it's kind of hidden by my face actually, um, but there are also intervals of one day, five days. This is going to be in your bottom right hand or sorry, your bottom left hand corner. Um, there's your one month, three month. Those purple lines are day breaks. So Every purple line is creating a new day. Um, and I'll show you guys how to set that up. This is going to be your six month, and that's your year to date. Um, and it goes on and on. And you can also select a custom day if you would just want to go back or a custom range. And you can do that however you see fit for whatever trend that you're tracking. So from here, let's start talking about actually, let's go ahead and add our indicators, right? So to add indicators, you're just going to click this button here. Let's do MACD because everyone knows MACD. Let's add that moving average convergence divergence. Boom. It's up there on our chart. If you star it, it'll then become one of your favorites. And so the next thing I'm going to do is customize this. There's two ways to go about this. You can double click on this. You can double click on the indicator itself, or you can just, you can uh, hit this little settings gear, right? Uh, that doesn't want to work right now. So we're just going to double click. Um, and for me personally, I like to put my MACD on histogram. It's not something that's totally necessary. I'm just a really visual person. If you want to change the colors, you can go up here. I like to make these a little thicker, the heavier colored ones. And then let's go ahead and change out this red and make it thicker. And I'm going to also change the color of these. Again, you do not have to do this. This I'm just a very color centric person, I guess is the word. Um, but that's how I like to look at MACD, right? So this is how I have it. If you like it a certain way, you can change the default. You can save it as a default, um, which I'm not going to do because I have defaults. But uh, that's how you go about uh, customizing these indicators. And you can do that on any of them. Um, yeah, you can change anything. Um, I believe if you add the candles, it's going to bring up your chart settings. And so, or you can like go over here and right click and just hit settings just on that backdrop. And so what you'll see up here, there's a couple different things, right? You can change the color of your candles here. If you decide to do that, I'm going to leave them alone for now. Um, but this is how you'll change the colors of candles. Um, your status line up here, this is how you're going to see all the different parts of the stock. Like you see that OHLC, um, your bar change values. You can add volume up there if you want. Um, there's the last day. So like there's all these different things that you can put up there and then you can also change what you see about your indicators. Like if you don't want to see the titles, you can hide them. If you don't want to see the values, you can hide that. Um, you can take the background out. I left it alone for now, but I believe you can actually 
Um, actually, I'm not even sure what that does. So we're just going to skip that. <laughs> I have no idea what that does. Um, if you go over here to scales, um, this is this is your scales, right? So you can change um, different things over here that you see fit. I really don't think I've messed up with anything over here too much because um, I like to see this stuff. And I also like to see like my symbol names and all that different, not my symbol names, but if I have indicators, I like to see the indicator names and the, the values over here as well. Um, your canvas, that's your backdrop. If you notice, mine has a, it doesn't, uh, mine doesn't have a watermark. So if you want your watermark, which I, I highly recommend, just because if you're looking at multiple charts, you want to make sure you're looking at the right ticker. Um, so there's our watermark. There's a crosshair that you see there. Um, and you can change the color of that if you want, right? Um, you can also do, um, I'm just going to leave it like it was, but you can also, there's all types of things that you can customize here, right? All types of things. Um, your trading menu, um, this is like if you're actually trading on this platform, you can connect some of your brokerages to this platform and then you can customize how that menu looks. And then lastly is events. If you notice like the D over here on my chart, that's a dividend day. Like we, that's our dividend payout days. Um, you can also see splits, earnings. If you want to see news, um, different things like that. And you can also change how your alerts come across to um, so now if we go over here, we can see like news for this thing for spy. We also see that quad witching was um, today, actually. Yeah, quad witching was today. Um, so there's all types of things on here, right, that we can look at and kind of see. Um, but I want to get into our drawing tools. I want to get into that. Um, let's go ahead and just start from the top down. Up here, you've got different um, tools you can use to point things out. You also have an eraser if you want to like erase um, a drawing or something you've thrown on your chart. I think that's really cool. You also have an undo button, which is pretty amazing. Um, over here, down below, you've got your trend lines, just different drawing tools um, that you can use. Like, for example, here's your trend line that's just going to go across the bottom there. Um, but that's just, you know, just an example. Whatever drawing tools you prefer, I like to just throw up the little favorite so they show up across the bottom here. Um, so whenever I want them, I can just kind of stop and grab them without having to like scroll through all this. Um, these are your Fibonacci tools down through here. Um, you've got some more market geometry things down through here. And then you also have like brushes, highlighters. You have different shapes that you can use. There's our rectangle that I love. Um, I use this for my gaps. Over here, you've got text. Um, you also have emojis. Like there's so many ways you can do this. Um, this is one of my favorite tools, the measurement, like the ruler. Um, if we want to look at like, let's just look at this gap here, right? We can take the ruler and go from this gap from the bottom to the top. And it tells you how many points the gap is, how long it took to get there and how, um, what the percentage was for that. And I just think that's like the coolest thing, but that's not all that you can use it for, right? You can measure any type of movement in this market. So like, this is like a 10% jump. Um, and it took, what, 65 days. So, like, there's all types of things to measure. Um, I'm not going down that rabbit hole. But another thing that's cool is this magnet tool, right? So when what the magnet does is it actually sticks to whatever you're drawing on. So, like, let's say I want to draw a price level. I can just come over here, and the magnet is going to stick it to the bottom or the top of my candle, right? Like, I don't, I don't have to know the precise value. It's just going to stick there. Now, if I hover over this, I see the low up here is 468.30. So if I double click this line, I can actually put my own coordinates in, right? I also can go into my text and I can say, you know, support, boom, um, just so my line is labeled. Um, I also can change how this line looks, right? You can do it um, straight. You can have it dashed, um, dotted. I like the dashed line. I don't know why, but you can change these colors as well. Um, so that's pretty cool if you want to stay super organized on your charts. This is a pretty cool tool as well. It keeps you in drawing mode. So if you want to draw multiple lines, you don't have to keep like clicking on the line. Like it'll just like kind of paste it for you. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to undo some of these. Another thing that's really cool is this. If you just click on something, you can copy and paste it right? Just with your keys. I'm on a Mac, so it's like Command C and Command V, but I believe if you're on a computer, like a PC, 
maybe control. I can't remember. I think it's like control. I see in control V to copy and paste. So that's cool too. If you want to delete things, just go down, remove one drawing, and you just removed all your drawings. You can also remove your indicators as well. Uh, so the next thing I want you guys to see on here is this, your alerts. There's so many ways to create alerts and customize them. You can set your conditions. It can be an indicator or the stock itself. You also can use different types of like criteria for what you want to be alerted to. You can change how you want to be alerted. So it can text you through the app, it can email you, it can do a little sound. Like there's so many ways to get these alerts. And you can also set alerts over here on the side as well. You can see and manage all your alerts, right? Another thing that I love about this is the replay feature. This is probably one of my favorite things on here. I'm going to jump down to the five minute. If you double click over here in the sidebar or you can hit this A, it'll automatically bring everything back into focus for you. You can also scroll in and out with this thing if you just want to make things bigger, but you can always double click it to make it make sense and bring it all back into focus. But with this replay tool, right, we can go back in time, right? We can uh, hit play. If you want to go back in time, you're just going to hit this right here. Go back in time. And we're literally just going to hit play. And now we can watch this price action replay itself and just study and learn price action. I love this feature. It's probably one of my favorite things about this whole platform, honestly, because it's just so handy. And like you can actually chart on this. Like let's mark up our low of the day. We took out the low. It's okay. Um, but you guys can kind of see, you can practice and chart along with this. You can also change the speed. I think I have it on like one, but you can slow it down, right? You can totally slow it down and just study the price action. I would say, you know, it's not real time, but I do think it's a good idea not to speed it up too hard because the live market isn't always ripping like that. You know, sometimes it is a little slower and you really want to give yourself time to analyze and really see what's going on. This is a really, really cool tool. I actually love this feature. So I'm going to close out this replay. We're going to go back into regular, regular chart mode. And the last thing I want you guys to see here is this little save button. Um, you can save your layouts here and name them. I highly recommend if you have multiple strategies that you have a different chart layout for them so you're not you know, constantly removing and adding things. It's just easier to manage in a live market than trying to like reset your chart and re reset up your chart every time you switch up your trading style. Another thing I want you guys to see is these layouts. You can go into select layout if you want to look at more than one ticker, right? There's ways that you can lay that out. You can also make it to where uh, all the symbols are going to be the same. You can make it to where the intervals, so the time periods are all going to line up. You can make it to where the crosshairs line up. And you can also leave it alone. If you want to have three separate things going on, you can do that too, right? So usually if I'm doing this, I'm either looking at like one ticker on multiple time frames, or I'm just completely looking at different tickers altogether. I don't feel like you have to have multiple up. I think it can get, it can be a lot, like 16 tickers up at once. That can actually be a lot. So let's go back into our watch list. I'm going to show you guys how to make a new watch list. So we're going to go to create new list. We're going to name it, well, let's just name it fun list and let's just add some things. So the first thing I'm going to add to this is going to be SMCI. Let's also add micro strategy. Um, who else can we throw up here? Let's throw up Boeing. They got a lot going on right now. Let's throw up Fisker. I've got them on like my bankruptcy watch list and let's throw up Oh, this list is so chaotic. Um, let's add NVIDIA and let's throw up our girl Tesla. All right. So this is the fun list. But, you know, all we did is just we just went in. If you want to add more, just hit your plus sign and you can add whatever you want to add to it. This list is totally just a joke. But I mean, there are some things on here to watch. Um, so this is going to be our watch list. You also have these little flags. If you want to like, I'm just going to throw up a pink flag over here. And I'll show you what that does. So there's the pink flag. And then when you go to all your watch list, there's your pink list, right? All the pink stocks are there. So let me take Fisker off because it actually doesn't match my pink stocks. These are all my spider sector stocks. or so These are all the spiders. Um, so that's my pink list. But 
nonetheless, um, I just think having a really good watch list is a game changer. Um, I can't stress that enough. I think having a really neat organized watch list is is key to just being organized in general is just super important. Um, so I think that's enough for now. I'll probably do a part two of this video just because trading view does so much. It does so much. And I feel like this doesn't even do it justice. So I'm definitely going to do a part two to this. Um, I just made up my mind. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys love TradingView as much as I have. And I'll see you guys at the next one.